Hi, I'm Jen Lehman, co-founder of Property Elite, Chartered Surveyor and APC Assessor. In this week's video, I'm going to walk you through the government's code of practice for commercial property relationships during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is essential knowledge for all APC and Assault Rigs commercial real estate candidates, as well as those on other pathways who provide advice on commercial property. The UK government published the Code of Practice on the 19th of June 2020, just prior to the June quarter date. It's currently planned to remain in force until the 24th of June 2021. The Code of Practice sets out guidelines for landlords and tenants in relation to rent and service charge arrears during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a challenging area as landlords rely on secure rental income, whilst tenants are facing challenges in their ability to pay. The Code of Practice encourages parties to work collaboratively and flexibly in an attempt to mitigate some of the financial challenges presented by the pandemic. The key aim is to ensure that tenants' businesses remain viable and can continue to trade throughout the pandemic. This provides clear benefits to both parties. It will also avoid significant voids being created and the incumbent difficulties with seeking to re-let premises in current market conditions. The Code of pra Practice, however, is not legally binding. It's voluntary and a set of best practice guidelines for landlords, tenants and agents to follow. These are some of the key guidelines set out in the Code of Practice. One, tenants who can afford to pay rent and service charge in full should do so. Two, tenants who cannot afford to pay rent and service charges in full should pay what they can afford to, with reasonable and flexible payment plans agreed between the parties. Three, tenants should provide evidence to justify their request for any concessions in addition to making their own reasonable concessions. For example, offering an extended lease term in return for a reduced rent, also known as lease regearing. And number four, landlords should provide support to tenants as far as they reasonably can. Refusal or inability to grant any concessions should be clearly explained to tenants with reasons given. That's it for today's video. If you want to find out even more, head to our website to read our blog or listen to our podcast. Here, you can also book in your free 15-minute consultation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.